All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, today, our video is a short video about news. Uh, in the front of me in the screen, I have the website of Hezbollah in Lebanon. This is the official website of Hezbollah, almanar.com. And almanar.com is uh, simply the media main uh, uh, agency for their propaganda. Uh, in the front of us, uh, and for sure here you will see in the top, a banner for Al Alam News, which is the Iranian news official agency for the Mullah's government in Iran. Uh, now, nothing new, really. The Shia, they always do. They keep screaming death to America and death to Israel. I don't want to play the video. You can, I have a link underneath. You can click in it if you want to watch the video. In this video, the Muslim Shia by tens of thousands are screaming death to America and death to Israel. And I wonder, you know, my, myself as an American citizen first, what the American government is doing watching a huge number of people saying loud and clear death to America and death to Israel. You know, when somebody says death, let us say, uh, you know, if if a Christian prince, and he is a Christian prince, if he said death to the Muslims, what the Muslims will do? They will sue you, they will go crazy, look what the Christian teaching, and maybe I will go to jail. Right? Why in the world a website like this, which as you know, all the internet websites in the world is owned by USA at the end of the day. And this is the address as you see in the screen. How this website is still functioning. How USA allowed such a website to be up. Number two. When somebody, he said loud and clear, and he is a head of a state or he is a head of an Islamic party in any country in the world. Death to America and death to Israel. Are we going to take that seriously or we just ignore it? How many Shia from Hezbollah, they come every year to USA? How many terrorists of Hezbollah are coming inside Europe as we speak? Who believe that they should kill every American and every Jewish and what our governments are doing about it they are doing this for many years you see all the terrorist group you see in the world is coming from the womb of Iran the Muslim Brotherhood the first sponsor for them it was the mullahs of Iran the first chapter or center for Muslims Brotherhood in Egypt was bought by the mullahs of Iran. The Muslim Sunni, when they found that the Shia, they were able to establish an Islamic state, that's what made them think about establishing all Islamic terrorist groups and the purpose is to establish the Caliphate because the Shia, they established already their own Caliphate as they believe. And the highest mullah of Iran, he is their caliphate. And now they are trying to extend their caliphate to go to Syria and Lebanon and Yemen and etc. So, you know, I am sick of his speeches. Uh, Trump was accused of being a bad person just for giving what is not his to the Jews. I mean, all of us renew that Jerusalem is the land of the Jews. And even you know, he is not the first president to say that. Even the scumbag Obama, he said that. You can watch, you can go and listen to the video. Obama himself, he said, Jerusalem is the capital of Israel. But they say that always to fool us before election, and after election, they forget about it. You know, we, they think we have a short memory. With thanks to internet today, we have everything documented and everything is recorded. Now, if we are people who care for peace 
how we can have peace with people screaming death to America I mean this listen they are not saying we want to fight the American government they are not saying we are going to they are not saying the death to Trump they are saying death to America those people they are willing to do genocide and kill 400 millions American if they can we are between 300 to 400 million They are not hiding their agenda that they want to kill every Jew. And yet, the filthy European Union, they be caught Israel. In the same time, they have branches for Hezbollah all over Europe. They have banks for Hezbollah all over Europe. They negotiate, they talk, they invite them. If you if I play the video for you, you will not believe how disgusting it is. So if you are an American person, and I believe many of you, those who listen to me, are American, I want you to take this link and send it to your Congress. Don't just send it to the FBI. Obviously, they are a bunch of potatoes doing nothing. We want this website to shut down. You see. Me, myself, I was the one who shut down Al Jazeera TV, Mubashar, which is direct. I am the one who shut it down. In the day where Osama bin Laden was killed, Al Jazeera, the filthy station of the Prince of Qatar, the filthy coward, he have open line for the Muslims to call and make a threat to America and says, we will, every one of us is Osama. It was like a funeral day. The station of Al Jazeera was receiving phone calls, and the host, the TV, is praising Osama bin Laden as a murderer for Allah. He is a great man, and people calling saying, "We will take revenge, brother. Don't worry, mashallah. We will, we will, we will kill for him one million. We, it's a, I recorded that program, and I am the one who shut it down. So let us see if we can shut down this filthy website. If you cannot go in war with them because you are a coward and a potato, at least shut down a website. Can't you? How in the world those people they have a TV station, an official website, and we just sit and watch? And what they are saying in their TV? Kill the Jews, kill the American, kill, you know, they don't say kill the Christian, by the way. They say kill the Jews. You know, you see, the, the, the Shia are people of Taqiyya. They shake hand with the Russian because they need them, but in the same time, they, they wish to kill every Christian. And they say to you, no, we are fighting America because America is unjust. That is the propaganda of the false Shia. They live with the taqiyya. The Quran says, take not Christians and Jews as a friends. The Quran did not say, take not American as a friends. Christians and Jews. And for sure, you cannot take uh, atheists and uh, Hindus and Buddhas. I hope people, they will watch this video. And I hope if you care, you contact your congressman immediately. And the link for the website is in the info. And we should shut down this website. And actually, if I am the president of USA, I will launch a war immediately and I will demolish what it's called Hezbollah. This is not only a hateful organization, this is one of the most ugly disgusting organization ever you can imagine and if the Saudi they are willing to go in war with Hezbollah we should support the Saudi even though the Saudi they, they promote the same idea at the end of the day but let us say there is worst and there is ugliest and there is something better as a choice is so report this link to the FBI to the CIA to your Congress report wherever you can
this is a website should be shut down and if I am the president I'm going to bomb every head center of Hezbollah immediately to teach them how to say death to America and if I am the Prime Minister of Israel I'm going to bomb every head center of Hezbollah immediately because trust me the one who say the he do when you make hundreds of thousands go in the street and they are shouting including women death to America the question is do they mean it or it's just a statement absolutely they mean it and they believe in it so am I going to wait for them until they do it or I should do something about it there is two kind of people people who say the winter is coming and we better get ready for cold so they start cutting wood preparing themselves preparing the stove doing maintenance to the house be sure there's no leaks here no leak there and there is people they do nothing until the winter come so which one of us which which one you want to be this is an evil organization and they are not hiding their agenda of killing and doing genocide against the Christians the Jews and for sure the rest they don't count for them I mean the Hindus the Buddhists they will kill everybody but they are shouting clearly that they wanted the death of every American while our TV stations are busy is speaking about an actor who was molested and is speaking about a congressman he was harassing a woman exposing the laundry of some filthy men those people are preparing to kill us so we are facing some stupidity in our side while those people they are training their men and their women to do genocide against the Jews and against the Christians we are busy with the stupidity well I heard that there is a bomb in New York but I'm not sure it's made by who for sure it was made by a Christian terrorist my friend Obama will come right away and he will tell you about the crusade just wait in two hours from now the Obama will come and he will tell us give us a speech about the crusade Uh, so people they have to take action and we have to take action and me myself I already reported this website already I contacted all department I can con contact and we better all of us do that because one person and I want you to contact your congressman in your town We should do that because if we ignore you know I mean what are you waiting for are you waiting until they they bring a dirty bomb to New York like today they put a bomb in a, in a subway a Muslim Abdul huh by the way I, re I receive a challenge to debate and you will not believe it from who from someone he is in jail his name is uh, I forgot his name. Uh, Yahya Khan, something like this. He is in jail for a, for a child molesting. <laughs> he is sentenced for 11 years in jail. He wanted to debate me from jail. Anyway, stupid people. Filthy. This is what is missing. Uh, so we should take action. And we should show those filthy people that we are not going to waste our time. And now, as long as we have a suicide bomber trying to attack and strike New York, how many suicide bombers from Hezbollah are going to strike us soon? In case you do not know, the first suicide bomber ever strike on American was from Hezbollah before ISIS was even exist 
before Al Qaeda is created. The first suicide bomber was from Hezbollah. So we have long long count of casualty. They killed more than 200 Marines in that explosion. At that time, the coward Reagan, instead of demolishing Hezbollah in Lebanon, he would draw the army. And this is why I say, I mean, some people they are proud about like because he is supposed to be a Republican. I mean, stop your stupidity, man. Country is always made by a leader and can be destroyed by a leader. They are the one who met Hezbollah because if in that day when they attack our Marines head center in Lebanon, if we respond in a very aggressive way to show them what we can do, Hezbollah will not be Hezbollah today. Hezbollah should be demolished from that day. More than 30 years ago. Not now. And now we see suicide bombers in our towns because of the stupid policy of the liberals for many years who they always open our borders to anyone to come from everywhere. And if you are illegal, the mayor of New Jersey, which is a Muslim, imagine they made a mayor of a town in USA a Muslim. He is saying we will protect them. So I will not be surprised if this terrorist is coming from New Jersey, protected by the mayor of New Jersey. For Muslims, they have to protect each other. His name uh, is Akayala, Akayaola. What kind of name this name is? I'm reading the, the, the news about this uh, idiot. Mm. Well, I hope nobody got injured and nobody was able, like, was, uh, was, uh, uh, you know. was hurt only this filthy he became pieces i hope so did he became pieces or not yet i'm not sure because we cannot trust the news it come from news agencies you know so i hope that people who they are listening he failed to detain okay that's good i i, I wish he would not fail at least explode himself so his shit will be all over. However, it's very important to capture him alive in the same time so they can get, uh, uh, you know, uh, enough uh, information, intel from him. So we can get into friends because, you know, those guys who they are, uh, let us say, uh, uh, doing terrorist attack, Usually, they don't care really about it being being traced. Why? Because simply they will die. I mean, you cannot get anything of them, right? They will get killed and they will die. And, uh, you know, there is no way you can you can take any information from from those people. Uh, let us see how much information they will be able to and but you know let's just wait soon soon the the liberal media they will start saying a frustrated muslim first what frustrated muslim try to kill himself and because of a trump decision just wait they will blame trump for it i'm telling you i assure you they will blame trump for the attack I want to warn you, Christians, atheists, all people who live in the West, the Muslims will do something very bad in this Christmas. So be careful. This is just hello. 
I'm sure they have something more for the Christmas time especially in Europe so be careful be aware and watch around you yeah each time a Muslim he do a crime they say to you oh, a frustrated Muslim go search right now I'm not lying you know do you remember when when uh, when there was a refugee center in Germany was burned do you remember it the media the filthy left media they start saying radical Christians radical Nazi radical fascist radical blah blah blah, blah Hitler blah 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 you know and then all of this was about the German as because it was supposed to be a German who burned the center later they found out that the one who burned it it was a Muslim so look at that how the title the, the title change from Nazi and fascist and hateful and Islamophobic suddenly became a frustrated Muslim burned a refugee center do you believe it the same news the same this the, the same a crime if the German did it it was a fascist it was Islamophobic the second they heard that the one who did this is a Muslim they changed the news and they make it a frustrated Muslim you see how frustrated he is he's frustrated he's a, he's a victim himself if you burn a building you are a criminal you are fascist you are trying to kill innocent people inside but if you are a Muslim doing that you are just a frustrated person and in the worst scenario they will say he have a mental issue well are you stupid or what all the Muslims have mental issues if somebody have no mental issue he will not believe that God will give him a lot of women if he kills somebody if they don't have mental issue they will not believe that when you go to heaven your God will make your penis endless if they don't have mental issue they will not believe that God will provide them with naked boys who they are very pretty and white and women you can see through their bones so for sure they have mental issues but the point is that the left media always do their best to defend the cult of Islam because they are intimidated they are coward they don't dare to say the truth And when one of them he said the truth, they bite him like dogs. If you remember, what his name? This guy, uh, he's a comedian. What his name? I forgot. He's like uh, he have his own uh, show. Uh, I forgot his name. He is an atheist. He said the Christian don't be behead our our uh, behead us if we make a cartoon of Jesus. It is the Muslims who do that. Just for saying that, all the media was all over him, and they were disgusted by his talk. Yeah, Bill Maher. Yes, Bill Maher. Bill Maher is an atheist. He is no Christian. And this guy, he makes fun of everybody. And we will not kill him for insulting Christianity. Yeah, go for it. No problem. Free country. The second he said the truth that the Christians are not the one who kill us if we say something against Christianity, it is the Muslims. He was humiliated. And all the media they start accusing him of Islamophobic so to make it simple anyone he said the truth he is Islamophobic Hezbollah said death to America death to the Jewish as we see in this video and this is today news this is not last year this is not an old news this is life in front of you this is the website of Al Manar as you see the official TV station of the filthy Hezbollah shouting screaming death to america let us say you are a stupid democrat are you happy to see hezbollah willing to kill your child are you satisfied to hear that hezbollah is shouting that we should kill the american let us say you are from the gang of hillary and you hate the jews huh you hate the jews don't you okay what about you you hate yourself Those Democrats are hypocrites. 
and they are the one who sponsor those terrorists by their stupidity sometime in purpose sometime by stupidity it is time for Trump to take action Hezbollah should be demolished this is a hateful party shouting clear his agenda of doing genocide against every citizen of Israel and every citizen of America and if I tell you how many grocery store in USA and how many gas stations is owned by Hezbollah you will not believe it Hezbollah they do laundry to their money from drugs so what they do they find a Lebanese or a Muslim Shia from Iraq or Lebanon or whatever or Syria and they say to him we will buy you a gas station however in front of the government you own it but the truth it is ours we will give you every month six months six thousand dollars what do you want more the rest of the money you have to send it to us just last year they close a bank a bank imagine in Canada owned by Hezbollah a bank not a grocery store I mean how a bank can go through and the intelligence did not notice that this is Hezbollah bank And nobody notice so Hezbollah are very smart organization those are not like Isis they are smart they sneak they penetrate your system they are in every corner in USA and they can do a lot of harm and they are waiting for the moment so Trump he have to do something and we should do it now better than later I'm so thankful that this filthy suicide bomber he could not kill any of our fellow citizen he did not hurt any child no women no men in our uh, 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 towns and he is going to face the consequence of what he did and I will be more happy if our intelligence were able to extract some priceless information to see who is behind him who is the one who sent him i don't believe he can do it himself there is there is somebody is sponsoring him to do it and i will not be surprised if he is from the beautiful country of pakistan or of afghanistan because the name sound like that so let us see however please don't forget to copy the link under the video the link of hezbollah TV station and ask your congressman ask him make it an official letter how in the world you as a congressman allow the USA government who own the internet in the world every website in the world is owned by us you have to buy it from USA we have the royalty how you allow and look they are not like hijackings a fake internet uh, website it is almanar.com why we shut down all isis videos and website but we don't shut down hezbollah website what is the difference both of them they want to kill us and both of them they say death to america it is time for action and people who do not do action they will pay the consequence of being ignorant and cowards you should not wait until the storm come to you you better ready for it this is what i want to share with you please download the video share it with your friends and feel free to give it to everybody and to be sure that you guys are going to download it i'm going to delete this video after a couple of hours the purpose is to be sure that you guys get it and download it and have it everywhere because i notice people are lazy help us so you can help yourself and by the way this is not only about america and israel those people they hate everybody in the world 
they hate the Hindus, they hate the Buddhas, they hate the atheists, they hate the gays, they hate the lesbian, they hate even themselves. No, today is not a broadcast day, today is Monday. We will do have a live broadcast again officially at 4 30 Wednesday. However, I might do as we see short videos from now until then. Thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. And don't forget to download the video and don't forget to contact your congressman and ask him why we are so quiet and why you don't do something. If he tell you what this video is saying, tell him it's shouting even a short. I can send you a long video. I mean, they are all over YouTube. They are saying loud and clear death to America and death to Israel. There's two sentences in the whole video. Death to America, death to Israel. How this website is functioning. And you will see here the speech of Hezbollah leader Nasrallah. This guy should be hunted immediately by the USA. Immediately. Because this speech happened for he is making a speech all those thousands of people they are in the street because he is talking Praising them and they are praising him This one this person should be brought to you as say dead or alive The same as we hunted Osama bin Laden. He is a criminal. He is a killer and he killed more than 200 American long time ago. Did we forget about them? We will, we will never forget. And they should be punished for their crimes. Thank you for watching. May the Lord bless you and see you soon again. God bless. Thank you.